Dexter, a fawn-colored French bulldog, lives with his human in an apartment in New York City. He eats food cooked especially for him, has four beds and countless tennis balls. Size small, of course. According to his human, Dexter enjoys eating, sleeping and sniffing. But Dexter has another life his human knows nothing about. He is the famous Detective Dexter. Every morning after his human leaves for work, Dexter puts on his detective hat, heads out onto the terrace, leaps onto the ledge and hops onto the fire escape where he keeps an office. His trusty assistant, a Pomeranian named Peanut, is always early and there is always a line of city dogs who need help. Peanut was about to call the first dog in line when Penny, the Pomeranian Yorkie, runs up to the office. Dexter! Oh, Dexter! I ran all the way here. <laughs> it's Lily. She's been captured. I saw her in the back of the dog catcher's truck. No! Where was it headed? Oh, it was going north on 6th Avenue. Oh, We've got to save her! And quick! Peanut calls out to the dogs in line. We have an emergency! Lily has been caught by the dog catcher and we've got to save her! <laughs> Maybe we all can help. We would appreciate the assistance. Okay, everyone. This is what we will do. The truck is driving north on 6th Avenue, which means we have got to get to that truck before it reaches the pound. Let's go. The dogs start running down to the street. Dexter grabs his skateboard and Peanut hops on. Hold on. Skate with all your might, Double D. They take a left on 15th Street, then a right onto 6th Avenue. The lot of them looking like a dog marathon. Finally, Peanut spots the truck up ahead. <gasps> there it is! It's go time! Penny! Yeah, Dexter? A few blocks ahead is a construction sign. Move that to the middle of the street so he has to stop. Let the Rottweilers help you. Oh, you got it! Come on, guys! Let's do this! Everybody get behind the truck so the dog catcher can't see us. And there is Lily looking out the back window through the bars. Dexter! I'm so happy to see you! You too! Don't worry. We are going to get you out of there. All the other dogs in the cages see them too and start barking. Shh! We've got a plan. But you must be quiet. The dog catcher looks into his rearview mirror to see why there's so much barking. Luckily, the dogs quickly jump to the side of the truck just in time. So all he sees is empty road behind him. Phew! That was a close one. How will you get us out? There's locks on these cages. Great question. Dexter turns to Philip and Jill, who are running alongside him. Philip and Jill, when the truck stops, run over with ten of our friends to his door and start barking to get him looking your way. Then disperse. He will be running all over trying to collect you. You got it. Then, Peanut, when he is distracted, run to the passenger side of the truck, jump inside and grab his keys. Bring it back to me so we can unlock these cages. Sounds like a plan. Everyone else, keep an eye out for the coyote and let me know if he tries to stop us. And no matter what it takes, keep the dog catcher away from this truck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Without warning, the truck screeches to a halt. Dexter gives the signal. Philip, Jill and ten more neighbour dogs all run over to the dog catcher's door and start barking at him. Duh! What in the world is going on? The group of dogs keep at him, even perching their front paws onto the truck. Hey, you! Get off my truck! Peanut is on the other side of the truck, waiting for her cue. The dog catcher gets out of his truck and grabs his net. Philip, Jill and the group start to scatter. And it works. The dog catcher chases them, drawing him farther away from his truck. Oh no! The keys are on the dog catcher's hip! Penny hears this and makes a run for the keys. The dog catcher has been lured two blocks down, still chasing after all the dogs. Then suddenly, Penny leaps into the air and grabs onto the keys. My keys! Penny is too fast and nimble for the dog catcher to keep up. She ducks under a few cars and keeps going. Another dog grabs hold of the dog catcher's pants. Hey, stop that! 
When it tries to shake him off, he sees the dogs have lined up, all growling. He backs away and keeps going down the block, even farther away from his truck. It's working. Meanwhile, Penny has made it back to the truck with the keys, and Dexter unlocks Lily's cage. Yay! You did it! I knew you would! Yippee! Okay, okay. We have other dogs to save now. Uh-oh. I think we've got company. Over there, by the trash cans. Peanut spots a dark figure with shining eyes in the distance. All the other dogs keeping an eye out bolt towards the garbage cans. Out comes the coyote running away down the street before any of the dogs get close. Yeah, you better run. Yeah. Dexter continues to unlock the two more cages and he's almost done with the last one when they hear the dog catcher. Coyote, where are you? Go get these dogs out of here. The dog catcher rounds the corner and sees Dexter unlocking the cage. Aha, uh -huh. so that's where my keys went. You. I'm going to get you. get you. The dog catcher starts jogging to the truck, but the group of dogs trailing him have another trick up their sleeve. They knock trash cans over, they grab his pants, they do everything they can to slow him down while Dexter opens the last cage. All the dogs cheer as Dexter finally gets it unlocked. All right, everyone, let's go. They run as far away from the dog catcher's truck as possible. They follow Dexter and Peanut on the skateboard back to their block. Dexter stops on the corner and leaps onto a knocked over newspaper stand. Thank you everyone for your help today. We could not have done it without you. We were able to free Lily and her new friends, but that dog catcher and coyote are still out there and we must find a way to stop them. And we will, <laughs> yeah. We will, if we can work together. The coyote has been hiding out in the subway tunnels. And tomorrow, we catch him in his own territory and make sure he never traps another dog again. You don't have to go down into the subway if it's too scary. But we do need your eyes and ears. If you see anything, just let us know. We've got this. Now, everyone, get home safe and get some rest. All the dogs go their separate ways. But Lily stays behind. Where do you live now, Lily? I'm just a few avenues away. I was heading over to tell you guys when the dog catcher got me. My new human is really nice. We are so happy to hear this. You deserve a good home. And close by, so we can see you all the time. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's get home. We need rest. We have got a busy day tomorrow. Good night. Lily starts walking home. Well, this case is very close to being solved. We will get there, Peanut. We are the D-Team. Cause we get it done. <laughs> it never gets old. 